Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and this is my What Causes CCI Symptoms series. And today we're going to get into upper back pain or thoracic pain. Now, not uncommonly, CCI patients will report pain in the upper back. In fact, it's fairly common. So what's causing that pain? Well, it's usually due to either a separate issue in the lower neck that can refer pain in the upper back, or it could also be related to some of the long muscles that attach, for instance, the scapula and the upper cervical spine, or it could be an independent thoracic issue. Now, on the first one, with regard to lower neck issues, the lower neck refers pain into the upper back, and particularly the lower neck facet joints and nerves can refer pain there. So that lower neck may need to be treated as well as the upper neck. Then the next thing would be those long muscles that go between the upper neck and the back of the shoulder blade, and that's usually causing pain in that back of the shoulder blade area. Now, for that issue, you've got to get rid of the CCI because that's driving it, but you also may need to treat those muscle tendons as well. And then for the third issue of an independent thoracic spine problem, that's not uncommon. We see, for instance, disc bulges in the thoracic spine. We see slipping or unstable ribs in the thoracic spine. And so it's not uncommon that we're treating the thoracic spine at the same time as we're treating the upper neck issues. So those are the three things that connect the dots for upper back pain and CCI. Hopefully this answers that question. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.